Let's start our show with a bang today. For the past three weeks, a group of Montana National Guard troops have been preparing for their next mission. Later this year, the 495th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion will be deployed overseas. The Battalion of Soldiers wrapped up their training at Fort Harrison's forward operating base this week. A lot of good refresher training and then some new training as well and, and additional uh, skills to build on. You don't shut me. Get back. Get back right now. Move. Security, both inside and outside a forward operating base, or any base for that matter, is vital to keeping troops safe and maintaining the mission. To be able to make decisions that are critical to not only their own security, but those around them. We just our want farms. you to leave and buy us new guts. Go home. Threats can come from angry civilians outside the base gate. I don't talk to nobody. They don't want to talk. Which requires one type of response. Come here, you want to talk to our leader and we can work it out? But understanding that there's a civilian population there that they need to be cognizant of and some folks are just actually they're, they're working on the FOB and so being able to discern uh, what is a threat and what is not a threat. Or insurgents posing as civilians preparing to attack with anything including chemical weapons. It really is a show, shoot no shoot in a lot of, a lot of instances, whether it's a, a vehicle borne IED or a suicide vest IED. Threats can come from inside a base as well. Everybody's been working as a team and we've been getting everything done we need to. Later this year, these Montana soldiers will be a long way from home. This training will help them get through their deployment and return home safe. I can't say enough about these soldiers. This is the best unit that I've, I've ever been a part of. Uh, we look forward to uh, our, our pending deployment uh, and continue to uphold the, the standard that Montana has, has set. The Guard unit is scheduled for deployment early this summer.